Angie Nichols of Tier 1 Health and Wellness. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today, I would like to share my hormone optimization story with you. So when I was about 36 years old, I began experiencing fatigue that was uncharacteristic for myself. As long as I was moving, I could do the things that I needed to do, but if I ever got still, it was extremely difficult to hold my eyes open. Sometimes the drive home from work was brutal. I also started noticing that my menstrual cycles were heavier and lasted longer and also had more PMS. Also, I noticed that things that never would have bothered me before all of a sudden seemed like really big things. So I had an increased amount of irritability that wasn't normal for me. So I decided to go see a gynecologist to figure out what might be going on. So I went to my gynecologist and he said, Angie, everything that you are explaining to me is hormone related, but I don't have time to learn all of that hormone stuff. I'm busy delivering babies and performing hysterectomies. So I appreciated his honesty, but I thought if a gynecologist can't help me with female hormones, who in the world do I go to? So he sent me to another gynecologist who is a female and she was more recently out of school. And she told me that I needed progesterone because I was in perimenopause. And so she gave it to me in a cream form, which I now know is not effective. Progesterone is not well absorbed in a cream form. And then she also never tested my levels. After about three months, I didn't see any improvement in symptoms. And so I began doing a lot of research on my own to try and figure out what may be going on and how I could help myself. So about the same time, Dr. Nichols was having some symptoms of his own of hormone deficiency. So we both began trying to increase our education, traveling all over to get the best information that we could about hormone optimization. During the course of our research, we discovered Dr. Neil Rousier, who is a world-renowned leader in the field of hormone optimization and teaches physicians all over the world the best way to uh, manage hormones and also teaches preventive medicine. Through his courses, we learned about the best ways to manage hormones and everything that Dr. Rousier teaches is evidence-based. It is purely what the medical literature has proven and it's based on over 80 years worth of research. So Dr. Nichols and I began to put Dr. Rousier's teaching into practice for ourselves and we began to see tremendous improvements. So once we started feeling better, people around us began to notice, our colleagues, our family members, and people started to ask, what are you guys doing? I can tell you seem like you feel better. So we started sharing with them what we had learned. So they wanted us to do the same things for them, which we did. And in every patient or friend or family that we assisted and put these principles into practice, they all began to experience the same improvements. And it was very exciting for us to see our friends and family feel and function better. We were enjoying a better quality of life. And the, the interesting thing is when people find things that help them and make them feel better, they always want to share it with the people that they care about. So then the friends and family members that we had been treating, they started bringing their friends and family members and wanted us to help them. And so slowly over time, it evolved and we started getting more and more patients coming to see us. And then eventually tier one developed into what it is today. We were asked to do some podcasts with some other people that were interested in health related subjects, how to feel better, nutrition, different things like that. And so we did podcast with a few people. Then people started coming to us from literally all over the world. It is very hard to get proper treatment for hormone replacement therapy because hormone replacement therapy is not taught in medical school. It is not part of the traditional treatment or curriculum. So if doctors want to receive this kind of education, they have to go out and get it above and beyond what is taught in medical school. So we tell our patients all the time, that you have to be your own best advocate, and that's exactly what we did. But we also realized that if a physician and a nurse had such difficulty getting adequate treatment, then what chance does the regular lay person have at getting good evidence-based treatment, which will then yield good results and relief of symptoms? 
If you would like to learn more about hormone optimization and whether it is a good fit for you, please feel free to check out our website, our YouTube channel, or you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. And we always love to hear from you, so feel free to give us a call. Thanks so much for joining us. Hope you have a great day.